Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. Yeah, boys! Yeah, boys! Yeah, the movie's called Get <laughs> Ponies pulling up. All right, it's the dozen match. Four hundred, four hundredth match of the dozen. Seems like that will be years later. Yeah, it's a lot. It's pretty crazy. A uh, show that started with Brandon and PFT against uh, Eddie, Marty, and a guy named Billy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Billy from Phoenix. Shout out Billy from Phoenix. And now look where we are. I thought uh, Billy was I from think. Denver. No, that was Will from Denver. You can see the confusion. I thought oh, Billy was from Long Island. We lost Fran. We'll get Fran back. Uh Anyway, 400 matches, season four, match 64 of season four to the oldest teams we have. The oldest team we have, the experts, smocking rolling in on their first three match losing streak in franchise history. Whoa. Winning streak. Winning streak. Winning streak, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, winning streak. Sorry. Yeah, we're on a winning streak. Losing streak is the experts. Well, that's the experts are on a two match losing streak. Two matches is hardly a streak. You know what? We we are the oldest team, but that's you know mostly weighted on Brandon Walker, and I'm fine with that. It's just more experience. That's, that, it that. is. You are your most experienced team. You've played the most matches by far. Yeah. Um, Fran is joining back with her phone in a second. Um, the experts exactly. are, however, eight one and one. ZD's uh, older. Per- What'd you say? Oh, Z- yeah. ZD's older. Uh, the, the the largest team is older. They're, no, I mean you're the you're you're the original team. You're the oldest. Yeah, whatever. Team. We're 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 onto something else right now, Jeff. Wait, eight you one and on one. Smocking four two and one. You say we're on a losing streak, even though we're eight one and one. How is that possible to be on a losing streak? You were eight oh no. Now you're eight one and one. What is there to there is that's it's clear cut. How can one loss be a streak? <laughs> two losses. Do not wins. You were eight zero and zero. You've lost a, a regulation match to the Frank Gats in Vegas, then you lost in overtime to the Booze Ponies, and they took and then a few weeks off, a few weeks in between. On the other side, though, Titus mm-hmm. rolling right now. Yeah, it's we're rolling. Good. We're red hot, Jeff. We're feeling good. Um, Brandon, do you? Uh, what do you want me to say to the mostly sports crew that are going to watch this and they're going to want explanation as to why you were not healthy enough to do our show, but are healthy enough to do the dozen? I just want well, I want to know what you want the messaging to be on that one. You can uh, you can talk to Jeff on this one. I tried very hard to get out of this, um, uh, but apparently I've been trying to get out of dozen for several weeks now, and That's correct. Finally, finally, I just had to play. So I'm at home. Okay. I'm sick. I'm literally on the couch that I've been sleeping on all week. I'm not allowed to go upstairs. So Jeff is making me do this. Okay. Do you have, yes. you have panel, st- panel ceilings in your basement? I do. Is that okay? No. No, it's not. not. What's wrong with that? It looks it looks like you're in like a like you're in detention. But it's, it's my basement. Okay. All right. <laughs> um this match airing here on Sunday afternoon uh, before the Elite Eight games. Well, actually, boy, if UConn doesn't make the Final Four, it's going to be a really embarrassing look for me wearing this right now. Um, so enjoy this match. Then enjoy some hoops uh, next couple of days. Last match of the week. Uh, the other night, um, we had your mom, Chicago. We had uh, Uptown Balls, Ice Dogs. And now we have Smokin against the experts. First time this season, 4 2 one Smokin, 8 one one experts um, from basement. Actually, Fran, you're on my side of the coast this uh, t- this morning. Yes, um, yes. Sunny Los Angeles. Early out in LA. Hey, Here we go. Can you send me some tea downstairs? 24 <laughs> questions. <laughs> 12 rounds of trivia. 25th being the bonus round. Written bonus round tonight. New Amsterdam Vodka sponsoring the bonus round. They're also sponsoring one of our three lifelines. Our New Amsterdam Vodka double sip. One of them. Uh, you can answer a question two times. You also have your call a friend. You can call anybody you want. 
Uh, you can use those two lifelines together, but you cannot pair them up with anything worth two points. Third lifeline, the double up, the two point double. Uh, you can make any question worth two points, except for round 10, which is already worth two points. Because that's the niche category round uh, presented by Body Armor. Your double up presented by Stella Blue as well. Uh, so here we go. Sunday match. Sunday main event uh, five, I believe. Our fifth Sunday match. Uh, at Smock and either going to be 5 2 1 or X, which going to be 9 1 and 1. Also, make sure to vote for the All Star game. Fran, leading vote getter last year. Fran in a battle with KB this year. KB is uh, actually wow. the, the, the one battling Fran. Last year was Nick. Nick is still right behind there. Uh, but KB, a lot of a lot of votes. I mean, hey, he, he did he he did beat me one on one. So that's true. That's he's getting that bump. Um, shout out to Glenny Balls, who was the leading candidate for MVP this year. First category, Smock okay. and your first well, time next, but you're up second. Uh, first category is going to be celebrity name game. Actually, oh, uh, very look at that, changing it up. A little bit of a change here. Celebrity name yes. game. Titus final answer person for Smockin. Uh, Brandon final answer person for the experts. Here we go for Smockin. Thirty five seconds. While he is often seen as a sitcom curmudgeon, this talented actor has also saved people's lives, been a judge, and is also a singer. 35 seconds. Reminder, you're connecting people's names. The uh, last name of the first person is the first name of the last person. Sitcom curmudgeon. This is tough getting this debut category against the best celebrity guest. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a classic category. It just never comes in the first one. Yeah, that, I'm not, I'm, I'm not I have that, no idea what the fuck's going this on with this question. So, <laughs> Where's Where's your... five. Hold on, I gave I gave him a timer. So I had to re-explain it. I just like doing the count. Five, yeah, five, five. Four. four. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. So I I'm just going to say same, anything same, and let the clock run out. Uh, it's Larry David Hasselhoff. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Final yeah. answer. That is correct. Yeah. You know Other your legends. I know my celebrities. People always True say that. The long-term partner of a famous star, this educator and author, also has frequent cheeky conversations with stars across the pond. Educator and author. Educator and author also has a frequent cheeky star. Which pond? Educator. He's throwing me conversations off. with stars across the pond. So this would be like a Piers Morgan. Need an answer. Yeah. Either. Five. Four. Cheeky. Three. I don't, know. I don't. Two. I don't know. One. Don't Other know. side. It's for the steal. Graham Norton. Was, was there someone the ending name with Graham? That you guys can think of? A long-term partner of a famous star and educator with the last name Graham? Uh, hmm. Ashley Graham? So uh, what, what's... an educator or an author. Five. What, what, what's the answer? Ashley, How do Ashley I... Ashley Graham Norton? I don't... Final answer. Two. What'd you say? Ashley I don't know. Graham Norton? You were close. It is Graham Norton. Uh, we haven't had this person as an answer since the first episode of the show. It's Stedman Graham Norton. Shout out to Stedman. Oh, wow. Long time. Stedman. Uh, Stedman Graham. You no, know, I was thinking. I was thinking Stedman, but I had no idea what Stedman's last name was. Stedman yeah, Graham. I mean, he's like six. It's like six seven. I thought he Stedman took Graham. her last name. I thought it was Stedman. Yeah, he Winfrey. should have taken her last name. <laughs> I thought I thought Stedman was like Cher. Like he was just one name. Yeah. We, I wish we could get like half a point for that. <laughs> never, uh, never open here we show go. that category again. Mashup. <laughs> double. Mashup. Double up. Do you want to double smocking? You do smocking. You kind of move your doubles around, but. Are you double. good at these, Mincy? Yeah, we're going to double. Sorry, just, <laughs> yeah. just look at my pencil uh, that I had. I uh, we're, doubles. we're not going to double because if we double and we don't get it and they get it, they get our double, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, would, I guess. yeah. Why would we double that? No. Okay, this is for Smokin, for Smokin to make it one to one. Experts, you will you have your Stella Blue double up here as per usual. Name the two celebrities, Smokin. Joel McHale and is that Graham Norton. Maybe he's got like the Lily James teeth thing going on. 
with like the slightly open mouth, but like the he's got that face. My freaking glare in this hotel room. That's me. Ten seconds. It's got the Lily James teeth thing. That's can you? You got to. I can't. We can't. You're when you lean away. I can't hear anything you're saying. I would say Five. Joel McHale and she got the Lily James teeth little gap. Joel, Joel McHale and Lily James. Final answer. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Spot on. on. Why don't you just keep saying her teeth? She's a teeth actress. She got her teeth always popping out. We'll just say her fucking name. Then. <laughs> I said her name. That like is, five that, times, is that is bro. her we smile. That's right. he. He perfectly described her smile. She's a teeth actress. I don't. I she guess it's one, 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 one. commercials to make it three to one. Don't knock process, you have all your lifelines. Keep that in mind. For the experts. Uh, oh. And so it's uh, uh, James Corden and Saoirse Ronan. Yep. Final, Final answer. answer. Final answer. That is correct. That is correct. Good work, Fran. James Thank Corden, Saoirse Ronan, uh, double off the board presented by Stella Blue. Shout out to Stella Blue. Smocking you of all your lifelines. That just looked like a college bastard. football next category. College oh, wow. football. What, uh, PFT, you want to double this early? Are you confident? I mean, I, no, let's not because if you get it wrong, Mincy will get it right. So we won't double this one. Mm-hmm. Just, this is for just smocking. Participate in the joke with me, man. Why, why would you have to? A 2017 that? fourth round pick to an NFC West team, 6'3 junior, became the first Texas AM wide receiver to lead the SEC in receiving yards in 2016. Man, I should know that. Uh, Lockett, like one of the Seahawks guys. Um, no, no, it's not. I, sh- I should know. Okay, I'm thinking NFC West led the A it led the SEC in receiving yards. This is an obvious question. I don't know because my brain's farting, and Brandon's going to steal this for sure. <laughs> Cardinals, 49ers, and they can, Cardinals. <laughs> What's that fourth NFC West team? Um, Rams. Uh, 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 yeah, I, uh, right. I, I think I got it. I got. I got it. Go ahead. Uh, Whenever you're ready. Final answer. What do you say? Josh Reynolds. Final answer. That is correct. Three to two. Yes, two, to two. <laughs> Great work, Mitzi. Great work, Mitzi. Great work, Mitzi. He didn't even say it. <laughs> then I think I got it, and then he just stopped talking. <laughs> He thought you That's the, we, we call that the Che. That's the Stephen Che where you just yeah. yell, I've got it, but you don't give an answer. <laughs> like, I was kind of like panicked when I was thinking about it because I knew Brandon would know it. And I was like, just slow down. My, and then I remember my brain is farting. <laughs> <laughs> for that. Three to two. It's match living up to expectations already. Here we go to make it four to two. A 2015 second round pick to an AFC South team. The six 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 sophomore became the first Missouri wide receiver to lead the SEC in touchdown catches in 2013. Um, um, Missouri wide receiver. Yeah. Uh, is that Doriel Green Beckham? Where, where did Green Beckham get drafted? Uh, by the Titans, I think. Titans. He was six six. He had one good year in college, and then he yeah. like his junior. He he like got thrown out of college or something. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Doriel Green Beckham. Is that correct? Is that am I saying his name right? Dor- Doriel. Doriel, Green Beckham. Doriel, Doriel Green Beckham. Final answer. Florida two. Doriel. Uh Doriel. music next category. Uh, By the way, did you guys see the smart. picture of uh playoff Lenny hanging out with Jay Z and, and Diddy? Oh no, wow. that's not not ideal, right? No. Wow. Um, Smokin, do you want to double music? I heard Mincy was hanging out with Diddy the other week. What do we think? We want to double music or college basketball? It's March. Let's go college basketball. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it. Okay. (laughs) Here we go. They're not going to double music. Good music team, though. They're good at kind of every category. Uh, Your best category is actually college basketball. You're nine and zero in that category this year. Uh, This is for Smokin music. Music title. This 1998 song. 1998 song title. Drops of Jupiter, right? No, no, no. no. you no. get what you give. No. Yeah, sorry. Wait, it is train, right? No, no. Listen, who is it? <laughs> the new radical. You get what you give. You give. See, you this give. is why you guys take control yeah. of the music. Ty's got it. Ty's got it. Yeah, you get what you give. Final answer. 
<laughs> that, that, that is, that is true. What the fuck was that? that? I'm not the music guy. They are the two music guys. I, 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 I respect him not being the music guy. Being like, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna give it the college try yeah, here. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. Split. I, I hear something that sounds kind of like train. I got to throw a train thing up. I'm not the music guy. Here's what it is. <laughs> here we go. Other side to make it five to three. Hank's taking his pants off in front of me in the studio. I'm sorry. I'm very. This is very distracting, Hank. Hank's. That's she's so high, correct? She's so high. Oh, what's up, man? I, she's so I, high. Tal Bachman. I play it again. She's so high. Brandon, don't get don't get distracted, but uh. Should have come yep. to work today, Brandon. Should have come to work today. God damn it! Fuck, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's what you get, Brandon. That's what you get for having uh, the sniffles, bitch. It? It's CM Punk. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's tough. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, she's so high. She's so high. I think I already dinged you. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Five to okay. three. Well, that's tough. That's just, uh, that's just trying to me. play the dozen here and CM Punk walks in. NFL. You know, Brandon, he wrestles. He said uh, he's a nice guy. I met him for the first time. He said he he's a wrestler. Yeah, no, he's an AEW superstar. I thought he was yep. a UFC fighter. Yeah, that's uh, Titus. How nice are you for the four hundredth match to get Brandon a nice little uh, surprise like that? <laughs> Here we go, NFL. This is for Smokin. This QB threw 104 touchdowns from 2005 through 2018 and had tar- TD targets like Dwayne Bow, Greg Jennings, and Ben Watson. Um, uh, it's a trick because where did Jennings go? With cause... Ben Watson played for like every team. Yeah, uh, Dwayne Bow Dwayne... was Chiefs and who else? And Jennings was Packers and who else? 49ers? Does that make sense? Yeah, so that would be Alex Smith, right? Chiefs and Niners. And he throw 104 TD. Oh, 14 years. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. That's I is like it Alex that. Smith. I like Alex Smith a lot. It took 14 years too. That's good. He had longevity. Yeah. All right, we'll go. We'll go. Alex Smith. Final answer. Other side. Hmm. I just he could have told me he was coming. I would have. I would have come in. Well, you would have been less sick, Brandon. So you can't come in yeah. and do your job? You can come in Think to, about the question, Brandon. Think question. about the question. Okay. I don't know. Matt Flynn. I, he didn't play with that. Five, uh, four, three, two. I, I really got nothing. I don't know. Good distraction there. I think it threw him off. Uh, it is a Matt. It's Matt Castle. Matt oh, Castle. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That was a good Jennings question. Jennings was the, the Jennings was the Vikings, I do believe. Uh, but Ben Watson, Patriots, Dwayne Bowe, yep. Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Other side to make it six to three. Smokin has all their lifelines, keep that in mind, including their double up. This QB threw 101 touchdowns from 2005 through 2014 and had T targets like Greg Olson, Brandon Lloyd, and Robert Woods. 35 seconds. 2005, right. 2014. Um, so Pan- Panthers, Niners. Randall Panthers, no, well, Brandon Lloyd played on the Patriots. He played on the Redskins. Yeah. He played on the Broncos. Yeah. Greg Olson was only Panthers, right? I think so. Uh, I, I, I got nothing. I don't Do you have anything? Jake, Jake DeLome? Yeah, Two. but he was earlier because he went to the. Yeah, you're right. He was. He was earlier. I don't know. Other side. So, who was drafted in that same Alex Smith, uh, Aaron Rodgers class? Olson was a Panther and a Bear. Lloyd, like Cutler, was a bear. but the, Brandon Lloyd wasn't a Woods. Was who a Bill? Was Brandon Lloyd in Denver at any point? Yes, Five. I think so. Four. I mean, I got nothing. Three. I don't think he was got Cutler. Another. Two. Kyle Orton. One. I don't know. Kyle Orton, final answer. Ooh. Five to four. That's oh, correct. Let's go, Mincy. Oh, yes, Mincy. What a uh, pull. That yeah, Olton, total, yeah. Olton Bears would be the Orton connection there. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah once I realized – 
once you guys thought of Chicago, I almost I almost did the phone a friend with CM Punk who just walked in the office, and I almost thought he's a <laughs> Chicago guy. Maybe I'll go get CM Punk, who's in the office right now. But Movies. I decided against it. Anyone you want to double smocking? I think we stick for basketball, right? No, we're gonna do college okay. basketball, Jeff. Here we go to make it five to five. Chris Evans starred in this 2013 post-apocalyptic sci-fi action film that uh, later got a Peter TNT Sir. series adaptation of the same name in 2020. Final answer. Five to five. Good job, Ken Jack. Great Other movie. side to make it six to five going into the bonus round. Essentially tied up because Smokin hasn't used their double. Matthew McConaughey starred in this 2011 legal thriller that later got a Netflix series adaptation of the Lincoln same name Lawyer. in 2022. Like Lincoln Lawyer. The Lincoln yeah, Lawyer? Yeah, Lincoln Lawyer. The Lincoln Lawyer? What do y'all think it is? Yeah, Lincoln Lawyer. Yeah. Final answer. That is correct. Six to five. All white lines except for one remain. Uh, call a friend for both. Double sip for both. Presented by an and Vodka. But double up remains for Smokin'. So really, we are, in theory, kind of tied. Show it on bonus mm. round time. Get your pens and paper out. It is time for the New Amsterdam Vodka bonus round. Time to make the donuts. All right, here's how it works. Closest guess battle. Either going to be a 7-6 to six smocking lead or an 8-5 to five experts lead. It will be close no matter what. Uh, you will both get a closest guess question. One person from each team will go up against each other. Can I help your teammates? The person who gets the closest guess, higher or lower, no price is right rules, gets a point. First team to three points wins the bonus round. If you get it dead on, you get two points. Keep that in mind. Uh, who do you want to have go first, Titus? Uh, I'll go first. Against who, Brandon? PFT. PFT against Brandon. How many days did Lynn's sanity last? That is from Jeremy Lynn's first start with the Knicks to his last start, which would end up being his last game with the Knicks. How many days did Lynn's sanity last? His first to last start with the Knicks. Pens down in five, four, three, two, one. Reveal Ken Jack. I mean, Titus, excuse me. 41 days. 41 days. PFT reveal. I said 71 days. Correct answer is 47 days. It's one to nothing. Smock nice. nice. Good job, Titus. Who do you want to have go next? Uh, Titus. Uh, Mincy, you go. Okay. Against two, Brandon. Fran. Total episodes of the Comedy Central series Tosh.0. Total episodes of Tosh.0. Were you a fan, Mincy? Yeah, I liked it. I definitely liked oh. it. But, you know, I'm not, I mean, that doesn't mean I have a clue here. All right. <laughs> I feel like Mincy would be on Tosh.0 like seven times. If it- <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mincy, we're going to do uh, first of the month web redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that is that is very how many how many he would be the league he'd be the the hall of famer of web redemptions yeah. <laughs> uh mincy reveal in five four three two one 112 112 fran reveal three three fifteen correct answer is 301 we are not enough at one of peak Oh, you Ken Jack against PFT. Ken Jack against PFT. Oh, wait, no, or Brandon, me. Right? All right. What about oh, Brandon? Against Brandon. I'm just. Me- I'm all hey, messed Brandon, around this yeah. morning. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't yeah. want this to influence your effort today. Has been piss poor, Jeff. Piss I, poor. I, I don't want this to influence your answer, but here's that Chipper Jones card I got you, Brandon. Uh, Whoa. We're talking about Chicago. I don't want that to influence how you answer this. But I just want Ken to Jack you. against against Brandon. Because someone gets a dead on, they win the bonus round. Total U.S. Ruby Tuesday locations as of 2023. How many Ruby Tuesday? Tuesday. Great salad bar. Great great Rolling Stones song. One of the most underrated ever. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) Is it Ruby Tuesday? Like, is that plural or is it Tuesdays? I think it's Tuesdays. I don't know. Uh, if someone gets a dead on, which would be wildly impressive, they win the bonus round. Five, four, three, two, Ken Jack reveal first, one. 
100. 100. Brandon? I say 175 are left. Correct answer is 217. Yeah. Nice work, Brandon. Yeah. One. Titus, what do you want to have to go last? I'll do it. Against who, Brandon? Uh, PFT, get him back. PFT against Titus. Here's your question. Combined age of Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. Combined age of Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. I will say the actual answers after. People have been asking me to say the actual ages, so I will say it after. I'm playing this one, too. Need an answer in? Five, four, three, two. Titus reveals first. One. 89. 89. PFT. 102. 102. Mm -hmm. The correct answer is... 98. Experts win the bonus round. 8 to 5 yeah. is the lead. Smokin still has their double up. They'll keep that in mind. Next category is Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball. Uh, you want a double? All lifelines. Just double. All right. Double. Here's All lifelines, Smock. Which AL team had these players in their 2013 opening day lineup? Michael Bourne, Nick Swisher, Mark Reynolds. 35 seconds. Uh... Is that, Cleveland? Is, that, is that Cleveland? That's what I thought. I, I, Swisher. I feel like Bourne was Cleveland, I thought. I know Swisher moved around a good bit, but I thought he played for the Indians at some point. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. It, uh, do we want to call? We still have phone a friend. Um, we can. If, yeah. Um, what do you think? Y'all sound pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like save a phone a friend when we're clueless. If we yeah, I mean, I don't, let's just yeah, let's do let's do Cleveland. Jeff, final answer. Great decision because that's correct. Eight to six. Yes. Hey, they, they you guys went from auto call on baseball to now you're just like yeah, a bunch of Tim Kirkjans. Uh Here we go, other side to make it nine to six. Which NL team had these players in their 2013 opening day lineup? Russell Martin, Clint Barnes, and Gabby Sanchez. This is for the experts to make it nine to six. Smokin has not used any lifelines. Um, I feel like that's the um, Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay. Do you want to call Clemmer? N never. I have never <laughs> wanted to call Clemmer in my entire fucking life. <laughs> Well, but we could call Clemmer if you'd like. <laughs> How confident are you in Pittsburgh? Ten seconds. I'm as confident in Pittsburgh as he was in Cleveland. Okay, so let's go with it. Like I, I trust I, you. I, I kind of think it's right, but it might not be right also. I trust you. Pittsburgh Pirates, final answer. Another great decision. That's correct. Nine to Good six. Damn. Great decision by me. Chain, re <laughs> chain <laughs> restaurant, so next category. Next category, chain restaurant. This is for Smokin. Do you want to call Clemmer? Initially marketed towards stoners, this regional fast food chain introduced a popular late night munchie meal menu in 2013. <sighs> all lifelines, double sip, call a friend. Uh, you don't sip for anybody after vodka. I feel like we always friend. call people on food, and I don't see why we don't yeah. do it. Yeah, we should call somebody. Um, uh, look, I don't know who this call would be though, because if it's regional and like we call yeah. Clem, and he he just doesn't know it because. I don't know who yeah. the right call would be. It would be Jeff, honestly, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that before? Could we call Jeff? Yeah. It's been asked. Uh, can't be done. Okay. Good ask, though. You want to call? Yeah, we're going to use our phone a friend, Jeff. Okay, you have 15 ready. seconds to decide who. You're going to use your call friend. What, what do you uh, I'm ready. Oh, Eddie might be doing mid. No, they're not doing mid show yet. I don't think. Um, cl Clem? Clem's been our go-to, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do okay. – let's try Clem. Both top five scorers in the league, both uh, food gods. Though one of them leans more towards restaurants. One of them leans to more towards grocery products. I can't. Did you call the right one? Sorry, I was looking at text. Yo, dozen question. Uh, initially marketed towards stoners, this regional fast food chain introduced a popular late night munchy meal menu in 2013. Menu that sounds like it would 
be a um like not Taco Bell. It's not, it, it can't be anything around here. That's what I was thinking, too. Got to hang up in 10 seconds. I don't know, man. There's nothing Oops. around here, though, that I've seen. Okay. All right. Appreciate the call anyway. I, I, I would, I'd say Taco Bell, but the Taco Bell. Five. Four. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Two. All right. Thanks, Dave. One. Got to hang up. Why Taco you have 10 seconds. Regional. Taco Bell's not regional. Good. What'd you say, Nancy? I just I was just saying something to beat the clock. I said White Castle. No, you have, I mean, you have 10 right, seconds. White Castle, White Castle, final answer. I like White Castle to... As part of the Harold and Kumar tie-in, is this cookout? Uh, I don't know. I I was thinking. Would it be like? Would it be something that's like California based? Like I'm 2013. I was thinking Jack in the Box. Cookout leans heavily into the late night. Okay. It is. Really I don't know what that is. Its menu it. is gigantic. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. It's just four, three. Cookout. Final answer. <laughs> It's Jack in the Box. Out, by the way. Oh, God damn! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Actually, there was there was there was a cookout question written originally. I said we can't. I said this is like giving Brandon a Mississippi State question. That's how big of a fan Ken Jack is of cookout. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah, just, I like we've talked about in our podcast so many times. Like, I can't give him a cookout oh, question. The best. Um, no blood though. Should Other side to make it ten to six. I didn't know. Featuring attractive women in the ads, this regional fast food chain introduced a line of larger party sick burgers in 2004. Hardee's. That is absolutely correct. Um, Hardee's, final answer. 10 to 6, four point lead, but that double's coming up for Smock and so it's College Troops' next category. Do you want to still double? Yeah, yeah, we're doubling. Okay, here we go. It's March. We should for double two points to make it 10 to 8. With players such as Mike Wilkinson and Cameron Taylor, this big 2005 Big 10 6 seed lost to eventual champion UNC in the Elite Eight. Oh, uh, that is Wisconsin. Final answer. That is correct. Ten to eight. Stella Blue double up. Very successful for both teams, and successful just now for Smokin to make it a two point game. Other side. Call a friend available for the experts and their double sip. Smokin, you have your double sip. With players such as Mike Nardi and Will Sheridan, this 2006 Big East one seed lost to eventual champion Florida in the Elite Eight. Ooh, Mike Nardi. Um... Finishing a dozen. A dozen. A dozen. I'm almost done now. All right. We're going to have to get uh, – got to try to call Jake Marsh to play defense on Titus here. You call someone? Or maybe like Reeks or some – like 2006 is early for I Jake Marsh. I think this Marsh. is before Jake Marsh. Mike Nardi. I should know Mike Nardi. Is it um, – Five. Four. I prefer Mike Do you guys Nardi. have Reeks' number? Two. No. Um, no. no. One of friends. Syracuse, final answer. Other side uh, to make it ten to nine. Final answer. We should have fucking called somebody. Well, you said you, <laughs> you should have said call for another side. I said Villanova. Final answer. Oh yeah, that's correct. Ten to nine. <laughs> Titus. I thought you Go said. Titus. I thought you said that. Which what I thought you said would. I thought you said that's a hell of a final answer. Which oh no no no. <laughs> it's also Villanova. plays. Um, call friend still available now though for the experts. Uh, niche category time. It is the Sopranos against the Cosby Show, two staples of the television industry. <laughs> Here we go. This is for Smokin to make it 11-10 to have their first lead temporarily. In season eight's episode, He is Risen, Tony sparks a beginning relationship with Gloria Trillo, a saleswoman for what car company? Mercedes, final answer. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mincy, I'm just doing it. I have to do it. <laughs> Last time we had a Sopranos question was when the incident okay, happened. I, actually, I do want to ask something to Jeff. Are you looking for the car company or the name of the dealership? Car car company. Car okay. company. That's final answer. Yep. Okay. Right there All right. We're good. Final answer, Jeff. He's in his clarification error. That's very important and big. Yeah. It is 11 to 10. That's yeah, correct. It was, Globe, it was Globe Motors was the other answer. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a guy flex. in the car and like, yeah. threatens her. He's like, I'll blow your nipples off or something. He says a bizarro <laughs> line. Do you remember that? It was yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Patty Pre. Yeah, he said Patsy in there. Yeah. Experts to make it 12-11, Cosby Show. During the season three premiere, chaos ensues throughout the house after Rudy sees snake, what animal snake, in the baby. Snake, 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 Final answer. 12-10. 12 to 12-11, <laughs> 12 excuse me. One point lead. Double sip and call a friend available for the experts. Smokin has their double sip. Television next category. Television for Smokin. Smokin in a close game. Uh, 
wild. After playing Omar on the wire, Michael K. Williams had a major supporting role in this HBO series from 2010 through 2014. Uh, Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. Is that Boardwalk Empire? Yes. Okay, final answer. 12 to 12 are nodded back up. Experts to make it 13 12. Before Big Little Lies and Succession, Alexander Skarsgård had a major supporting role in this HBO series from 2008 through 2014. Or uh, True Blood. That's the right time frame. Call yeah, I think available for the experts. I'm pretty sure it's True Blood. I think she's right. I'm going final. True Blood. Final answer. That is correct. Thirteen to twelve. Last wait, category. Fran. Oh wait, Fran. Geography. You- Geography. You got double sip. Don't forget. Smock and double sip. Uh. You don't have to use it, because keep in mind, even if you miss, it does not mean it's over if they don't get it. Uh, so giving them extra options, up to you. To make it 13-13. Hold on. Two U.S. state capitals end with the letter G. Harrisburg and what else? Tied up. Ten seconds. Do you want to use your double sip? I mean, if it can stall out us thinking, we probably should. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll use our double sip. Four. We'll use our double first sip. guess. Three. Two. Uh, West one. Virginia. I don't know. Um, 10 yeah, seconds yeah. now. 10 seconds um, and a five second countdown. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Other side for the win. Michigan. Michigan, final answer. Missing. Right? Yep. But it's the name of the it's the name of the capital. Right. Well, that's oh, yeah, yeah, saying. yeah. Lansing. Lansing. Sorry. Lansing. Lansing. Yeah. Lansing. That is the victory, 14 to 12 for the experts. They get off the, the two match losing streak. All right. Uh, last quest to make it 15 12. What is the only US state capital that ends with the letter M? Uh, <laughs> You're going to get two guesses automatically because it's sponsored. Double sippers and I'm going to have to turn vodka. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. M. Juno, Honolulu, <laughs> Salem. 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 Yep. Salem. Yep. Salem, Oregon. 15 12, final that score. Expert 9 1 and 1 uh, after a couple weeks off. Uh, Brandon, PFT mm-hmm. Fran, how are we feeling? Good to get back in the win column? Definitely. Great to be back. Great to be back. Yep. Big losing Feels good. Uh, Still gunning. They're at number four. Uh, still gunning for number one. ZD, Dave, Dave has number one still, Brandon. Uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> they've had I mean, you can write his they've pretend been, preschool questions all you want. Maybe Minahan, Smokin, Frank Etz, the Booze Ponies, and Uptown Balls. Like, I don't like what. Hey, you, you write their uh, questions for three-year-olds. What do you want me to do? Ken Jack, Titus, Mincy played well. Obviously, that that any match that's three or less, it comes down to just the bonus round, basically. Um but as I've tied as I feel you're especially upset because you did get Brandon this nice surprise this morning. Yeah, uh, he's, with CM yeah he's, not even, he's not even appreciative. That's okay. That's that's Brandon <laughs> Walker for you. Uh, didn't have enough energy to do his job. Did have enough energy to uh, lose his mind when he won a dozen match. So uh, it's, a, it's an interesting level of sickness he's uh, dealing with I, right now. Jeff. Like a perfect balance of like right between the two, you know. But I tried to not be here today. Jeff wouldn't let me not be here. <laughs> you didn't fight as hard as you're making it seem like. Oh, whatever. It's been weeks. It's been weeks. Uh, did you get your tea, though, at least? Yeah, I got a little tea. Okay, good. Uh, that is it for this week. Not sure who's on next week. I think Frank Etz might be coming back. We'll see. 
Frank does seem to think they play every week. They haven't played in like a month. Uh, we'll see who else oh, plays. Um, I know we're going to have finally Dana versus Marty at some point. That may be in a couple weeks. Um, Hawk is definitely going to come back. Wall, you have to hit the button on the wall. Hawk is going to have to come back. Titus is trying to figure out how to get out of the dark. That is it. Yeah, dark. <laughs> thank you for thank watching. Uh, thank you to Mr. Vodka. Thank you to Stella Blue. Thank you to Body Armor as well. We'll talk to you next week.